I can see, uh, let me start out with this one. I'm really glad that um, this game is on a Sunday because I, I can't wait to watch this. There's not a lot of info yet. Michigan's playing tonight. We're recording on Thursday, midday. Um, they're playing Nebraska, actually. But I expect them to take care of business against Nebraska, coming back against, uh, you know, that bad defeat, coming off it against Michigan State. This is a revenge spot for Maryland. And they've... Um, they now know how Michigan plays ball. They got their butts kicked at Michigan. Um, looking at Maryland, they're very bipolar. They score 78 points per game at home and 65 on the road. They're, they're one of those road, home road split teams that are just a huge difference. Um, Michigan isn't terrible on the road, 6-5 and five against the spread, but they dropped some big games to Wisconsin, Iowa, and Penn State. Um, I really don't want to overcomplicate this one, right? I'm going to make this simple. Michigan just lost their top spot in the Big Ten, losing to Michigan State, and they're going to be looking ahead to them. They're, they're going to be looking ahead to State. I think that's going to be in their minds. And, um, and I'm going to look at the revenge spot for the Terrapins. Um, even though this is going to be a, a, a short dog here of Maryland, I'm going to take Maryland. I, th- I like Maryland up to two and a half points here. Um, they're just the best team at home. Any thoughts about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing with you there. Uh, I would love for Maryland to be catching uh, a few points, and they may. Uh, my number is pick them. Uh, I think the odds makers will look at it uh, as a, a toss up. You know, as, assuming uh, you know Michigan gets out of uh, tonight's game uh, without any without any injuries, and uh, you know your standard performance. You, you know, as long as they don't like lose outright or something. So. Um, and I don't think that will happen, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm looking Maryland here. Uh, like you said, revenge spot and the Michigan look ahead to Sparty, uh, all that stuff. And Maryland's been tough at home, uh, only seven, eight and one against the spread. But, you know, a lot of those, uh, were, were bigger, bigger chalk numbers where they'll be, you know, at worst, uh, a super short favorite here, but more likely a, a pick them to an underdog. So, uh, I, I'm with you on that one, man. I'm thinking Terrapins at home. It'll be rocking uh, in College Park. And um, I'm with you, man. Terps in this one. Yeah, absolutely. Michigan seems to fail fail a little bit sometimes in big spots. And uh, yeah, their offense isn't as good as people all, you know think. They have a great coach. Uh, it's their defense and slow play that uh, kind of sucks the life out of teams. But Maryland's going to uh, be ready for that, and they're going to be they're going to get up for this game. Well, we got about a few minutes left, my man. We have UFC 235 coming up this weekend, and you have some plays and some thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Hell yeah, man! We've got um, this card is so uh, stacked. It's in Vegas. Uh, we've got two title fights, uh, John Jones against Anthony Smith, uh, Tyron Woodley uh, defending his welterweight uh, title against uh, Kamaru Usman. Uh, we've got the debut of Ben Askren. We've got two former champs in action, Robbie Lawler coming off the ACL, uh, the kickboxer striker going against Askren, who uh, is you know unbeaten in MMA, is considered one of the best uh, wrestlers out there. He's Woodley's longtime uh, training partner. And uh, the, the other former champ in action is, is Cody Garbrandt. Uh, he's a relatively short favorite in the minus uh, 140, 150 neighborhood. And then there's a great featherweight matchup. Uh, he's got a long last name. I'm not even going to butcher it on your show, man. <laughs> I'm just calling him, I can just call him the Beast. Uh, he's going up against Jeremy Stevens. Who had been rolling? He had won three fights in a row, got three bonuses in a row, and then he was facing the former champ Jose Aldo. His last fight, he had Aldo hurt early, but Aldo, uh, you know, got he was able to shake it off, and, and he rallied and got the knockout uh, finish. Uh, but I think that sets us up with some good odds on Jeremy Stevens. Uh, Little Heathen is his nickname, and you can get him at plus two hundred. I even see plus 220 uh, at, at one offshore, plus 205 at five dives. So my favorite play is Jeremy Stevens here. Uh, but I'm also going to be playing Tyron Woodley. Uh, if you can get it minus 150 or, or, or less expensive, uh, there's a couple of minus 145s out there, five dimes being one of them. I like Woodley uh, to defend his belt. I hate John Jones, but, uh, I, I, you know, he's pretty damn good. And, uh 
before we you know started the pod, apparently he he tested positive for the metabolites of that steroid, just like he did two months ago. They, they you know, they're they're going to let him fight anyway. They say it's you know the, the scientists all say it's from the last you know positive test he had with Cormier you know over a year ago. Um, and you can get now he's way too expensive on the straight price. He's at minus 800 or 900, but you can get a prop bet, uh, for Jones to win by KO. And, uh, it was at even money this morning. And now I'm looking at it. It looks like it's up to minus 115, but that's still pretty inexpensive. Uh, again, I hope it loses. I hope he loses, but, uh, from a betting perspective, you can't let your personal feelings, uh, get in the way. So I think Jones to win by KO, even at minus 115. Hell, I would even go up to minus 130 or 440. I mean, hopefully we won't have to. I think Asker beats Lawler, but he's too expensive at minus 280. Um, I, I just got to see what Cody Garbrandt, I got to see how he responds after getting knocked out twice by TJ Dillashaw and two, uh, you know, that's a bitter feud with him. Uh, and, and it, he showed his chin being a little soft after he had, you know, been so great for so many years. So I, I can't play Garbrandt. I gotta, I gotta see him in bounce back mode, get his, get his hand raised. Uh, and one more, more I'll throw out at you. Uh, the young rising star out of Brazil, Lee Walker, taking the short notice fight against Misha Serkinov. I like Walker. As long as you can get it at minus 150 or, or, or less, or less expensive. And right now, most books are minus 150 or minus 155. Uh, I like Walker. Uh, and if you can get a prop for him to win by KO, uh, actually, I, I take that back because I, I see the odds for him to win by KO are minus 120. And that's just 25 cents off the, or, or 30 cents off the minus 150. So I, I would just go with him just to win, just to, to, a decision. This guy, he needs to get more seasoning, and, and we got to see how his wrestling game is. But from a size and power standpoint, he looks like a guy that if he keeps improving, stays out of trouble and whatnot, uh, this might be the guy who can take John Jones out a year or two from now. He certainly has the the muscle and the size and the power uh, that we've seen on display in his first couple of fights. So he's a he's a young guy. Johnny Walker out of Brazil, and I think he'll uh, get another W against Serkinov this week. Johnny Walker sounds like a drink, my man. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, he's got to get that sponsor, man. <laughs> <laughs> so to recap, we like Jeremy Stevens here on the money line. We like John Jones prop knockout. If you can find that, my, better than minus one thirty. Tyrone Woodley and Johnny Walker. That sounds like a, a, a great little card to play, my man. That's fantastic, Brian. Well, I know we're out of time, my man. Thanks so much for coming on again. Listeners, you can find Brian at Vegas B. Edwards, VegasInsider.com, or at BrianEdwardsSports.com. I really appreciate you coming on, my man. Thanks so much, Kiev, as always, for having me. I appreciate it. Always fun. Let's uh, let's do it again soon when uh, hopefully we'll have a Wisconsin-Florida Sweet 16 rematch. <laughs> coming here in about a month man hey we can all think positively it's march man <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing would be sweeter my man all right everybody thank you for listening out there if you have any questions please tweet us at the odds breakers have a fantastic time betting these games this weekend and go get some winners